Now, speed, we're going to divide into two parts. We're going to have average speed. Then we're going to have instantaneous speed. The average speed is basically uh, just the general kind of uh, average of all the different rates that you were traveling at. The formula for it, or the def actually we should say this is its definition, is going to be, we can write it this way, defined as the distance that you travel divided by the time. Notice here this is a definition, so we can't prove it or disprove it. That's how average speed is defined, distance over time. Instantaneous speed, on the other hand, would be a measure of how fast you're going at any particular moment, which is what your speedometer measures at any instant. So in terms of the formula, instantaneous speed is the magnitude of the instantaneous velocity vector. The magnitude of the instantaneous velocity vector. Now, if the instantaneous velocity is only one direction, only one dimension, then the magnitude of it becomes equal to just taking its absolute value, you know. So, for example, if the velocity, if you're traveling this way and your velocity is equal to 5 i hat meters per second, okay, which, which means you're going to the right, then your speed, instantaneous speed, is going to be magnitude of that which is just plus 5, right? If you're going to the left, your velocity is going to be negative 5 i hat meters per second. Now what's your speed going to be? It's, it's going to be just 5. So it's equivalent to taking its absolute value. Which is what the speedometer does, right? The speedometer doesn't care you're going to left, right, west, north. It just measures how fast you're going. So you're still going plus five. But if you're going in a two-dimensional path, plus five i hat, plus three j hat meters per second, then what is your instantaneous speed? Square root of 34 meters per second, right? You see? So in this case, the instantaneous speed is not just the absolute value of the V. It's the magnitude of the V. So you've got to square the X component, square the Y component, add them, square root it, you see? Okay, so that's the instantaneous speed. And then velocity has two components also. We got average uh, velocity, and I'm going to put a vector sign over it. The average velocity is defined as the displacement over time. So I'm going uh, to put the displacement as a capital D and then divide by t. So average v is defined as displacement over time. And then instantaneous velocity is e, uh, defined as it's going to be the, 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 short, uh, the, the shortest definition is basically is the derivative of the x position and y position as a function of time. dx dt i hat plus dy dt j hat. If, now most of the motion we're going to do in this chapter is going to be, is going to be, what? Let me just see 
second. So, so this is saying dx dt i hat plus dy dt j hat. So over here, when we're saying v is five meters per second, what we really mean is that uh, x, the x position of the object is changing at a rate of five meters per second. So th this five is the dx dt. And then in the second two-dimensional case, the three is the dy dt. So you'll see cases where the dx dt and the dy dt are not in this case, they were constant, but they don't have to always be constant, you see. Okay, so then when you take the magnitude of that, you get the speed. And then the acceleration 